welcome back. Check this out. A beautiful view over at the Mackinac Bridge and a little bit of a breeze that we could see there with the American flag whipping around in the breeze. But all in all, not bad. Now we've seen some cloud cover increase over across the west end of the UP. This is over at Lake Ogibic where it's a little bit more filtered sunshine there this morning, but it is, or rather this afternoon, but it is uh, more calm over at that lake at this moment as compared to the Mackinac Bridge where we're noticing that breeze. Beautiful blue skies over at Ma Ripley. Everything's starting to look more green and lush out there and it looks just so wonderful. Here's a look at what we can expect tonight. There will be some clear skies at times early on, especially if you're in the central and the eastern areas. Tomorrow, a frontal boundary comes in with some rain showers and thunder showers. And then we do have some dry weather from Monday through Wednesday before another wet trend unfolds for us for the end of next week. So those are your headlines. Right now, we're seeing some more quiet conditions in the central and east. Just a few of these little spotty rain showers moving in across the western counties, Gogibic and Ontonagon counties ahead of this next disturbance. Area of low pressure moving on through across portions of central Canada and that frontal boundary coming in tomorrow. With that being said, tomorrow we are under a marginal risk right in the south central sections of the UP for the potential of a few isolated strong to severe thunderstorms. The main severe weather risk will be for areas in the northern lower on the west end and for portions of Wisconsin. However, this could easily clip. I'm talking about Dickinson, Menominee, maybe even Delta County. So if in your those areas, be mindful that in the afternoon we could have a few of those stronger to severe thunderstorms. The main risk would be some gusty winds potentially some damaging winds with some of the more stronger ones and then some isolated large hail. So I set that all at a moderate risk. But tomorrow, Mother's Day, you can expect temperatures to ramp up into the 60s. Some cloud cover will be around a few early morning rain showers, but there will be a drier period. Our high is expected to climb into the 70s when we get that drier period in between both of those two rounds of rain and thunder showers. Here's that timeline. This is 11 o'clock tonight as those clouds start to roll in. Here are the morning rain showers passing through the central and the eastern areas by tomorrow morning. There is a drier period from 9 a.m. I would say through about 2 o'clock in the afternoon where we could see some of that sunshine ramping up our temperatures and we can have some drier weather for you to get outside with your mother. And then here's right around lunchtime. By about four, five o'clock, that frontal boundary sits right over the central UP, and that's where we'll have those thunderstorms fire up. So again, if you're in the central and the eastern areas, thunderstorm potential, I would say between four through about seven o'clock tomorrow afternoon, extending into the evening. This is 730. By that point in time, that line pushes off over Lake Michigan, and then we're in for a dry stretch of weather. That'll be really nice. We'll have some sunshine, dry weather Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, a little chilly for Tuesday morning and then Thursday comes our next disturbance which will bring in more wet weather for us continuing for uh, the western UP for Thursday but on Friday it looks to become more widespread with the system moving in that rain potential more widespread for Friday afternoon extending into Friday night and then next Saturday we'll still have some lingering rain showers we're many days away from this but just giving you a heads up as to what you can expect. So it sounds like definitely the best time to go out with mom is probably brunch time right around tomorrow. I think tomorrow. that's the perfect time, yes. Certainly add it to the calendar. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jennifer. Coming up next in sports, TV6's.